Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator Honorable Mary Isaac, during the sitting of Senate held on Thursday, highlighted the need for the extension of the state of emergency. She explained that with an average of 100 new COVID-19 cases being recorded weekly, the country cannot afford to relax current COVID-19 protocols. One such protocol is the implementation of a curfew, which Senator Honorable Isaac indicated has assisted in curbing the spread of the coronavirus on Ireland. Madam President, there is absolutely no question as to whether or not we need that declaration of a state of emergency. We needed it when we set it then. We needed it when we extended on it the first time, the second time, and we need it now. Maybe now more than ever, Madam President, as we are seeing that the numbers are declining or at least remaining stable, we are seeing we are still getting about, on average, about 100 cases per week, and that is still not satisfactory. While it is better than where we were before, it is still not satisfactory. Not satisfactory enough for us to loosen up on the protocols that we have that currently exist, which includes a curfew. Highlighting the worsening COVID-19 situation in other countries, the minister explained that St. Lucia cannot become complacent just because active COVID-19 cases appear to be stabilizing. If you are on antibiotics, Madam President, for 10 days, and you start taking it and getting better, after the third day you are much better. Madam President, do you stop? You have to continue because the end result is to get rid of whatever it is that is in your system and you require the 10 days of taking the antibiotics to do so. COVID-19 is still with us, Madam President. It is because of the measures that we have put in place that we are seeing some sort of, I don't even want to call it relief, Madam President, because it's just that the numbers seem to be remaining stable declining a little and remaining stable. So this is just a semblance of a relief that we are seeing. We cannot drop our guard or let it down because we can go back to a worse situation than where we were before. We know of Trinidad and Tobago right now, our brothers and sisters there are really suffering. They're under tremendous pressure. We have Martinique, closer to home. We hear of India and we see what is happening. With such a large population, we cannot afford that in St. Lucia, Madam President. We would all be wiped out in a matter of one week. Senator Honorable Isaac indicated that the Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to fight against COVID-19, ramping up the vaccination campaign. A number of vaccination sites were established this week to facilitate vaccination efforts. Senator Honorable Isaac disclosed that St. Lucia is soon to receive some 150,000 vaccines. Madam President, we speak of herd immunity. And of course, that depends on our vaccine efforts in country. I said earlier on that we are expecting to get 100,000 vaccines within 100,000 vaccines that's purchased by the government of St. Lucia and another 50,000 vaccine, vaccines that's going to be given to us from the COVAX mechanism. And we are expecting both of these shipments within this week and of course towards the end of this month. So our vaccine effort is extremely important, Madam President, for us to obtain that herd immunity that we are talking about. And we are looking at being able to vaccinate at least about 108,000 people so that we can accomplish that task. The Parliament of St. Lucia approved the extension of the state of emergency for an additional period of five months, commencing from the 17th of May 2021 and ending on the 16th of October 2021.